Pero, oh, sorry, before you continue, and the, and the island, me le entendí, because I know Valvo had told me, like, the blue Hawaiian se hace con ese. Pero yo le hice a Curacao, y ella me dijo, no, it's not like that, it's... Curacao, ¿no? Curacao. How'd you get here? I flew. Okay. So good morning, this is day two in Amsterdam. I am here with the traveling roomies and finally Elizabeth has showed up, no hiccups. Today weather is about 20 degrees, little wind chill factor we got going on. Uh, yesterday was a lot warmer, um, but overall it's a really beautiful day. It's not as cloudy as yesterday. Oh, actually it's not even cloudy today, so it's all good. Right now we're heading to the Anne Frank's house. Father's taking us. This is not too far from where we stayed. And then probably after that we're gonna get something to eat for breakfast or brunch. At this point probably would be brunch. So this is a statue of Anne Frank. Okay. Oh there there's the the little She lives around the corner. I don't understand that. Wait, she was hiding here? Around the corner. Around the corner. Oh. In the back of me, there's the Anne Frank Museum. Uh, according to Sandra, that's where she hid during the during World War II. So she hid it there during World War II and she lived at the top floor. So how long did she stay there? So she, Anne Frank probably last hit there for maybe more than a year. And then they couldn't make noises at a certain time, according to Bardo, Baldo. Alright, so this is the hot chocolate that I ordered. Again, it's this locale. It's not too far from the Hoxton Hotel. A couple of blocks. In Amsterdam. So I ordered a hot cocoa with cream and rum and a cheese sandwich, no, a sandwich with cheese and ham. And then I think Elizabeth ordered some croquettes. She ordered some croquettes. So this is our room at the Hoxto Hotel in Amsterdam. I decided to ask them to move me up to the third floor rather than be on the first floor. They were very flexible with the uh, accommodations to move my room from the first room to the third room. It's actually a lot better, right? Um, I guess I do not understand the culture in, in Amsterdam, but a lot of people, you know, they like to leave their windows open. Um, and you can look right into their house. And so I didn't feel that comfortable uh, being in that level where they can look into, but I still wanted to see the scenery. So I had them move me up to the third floor where I can have a sense of privacy and still be able to look at the nice view out there. This is a view that I have. Pretty nice. So right now we're trying to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner for later use for later time. 
we just ordered some coffee macchiatos and then we're gonna head out and explore hopefully we can see more around Amsterdam Ahora atrápate un ovado. <laughs> We are walking at the, by the Van Gogh Museum. We had originally bought tickets, but due to the COVID lockdown, we are not sure if people are able to go in anymore. We're gonna walk by and see if it is open. If not, then it's just something we have to forget about in a few like with other things you know it's like something we have to forget it sucks it is cold today this I cannot deny this it is very cold <sighs> so how are you guys feeling on this many multiple time back oh we love it every in Amsterdam very unique place I haven't seen another place that looks exactly like this so far so I think I give it a 9 out of 10 just because of the weather it's very cold but I think if it was a different you know time of the year uh, we were not under COVID lockdown it would be 10 out of 10 it's really nice but yeah I mean I guess We're coming back one of these days, so hopefully it's a different experience. Okay, so we have to come back to it. You want to go to the park? But we're going away, no? No, we're, we'll go back to it. And that's how cold they are. The house? They're doing a little house. And if it gets too cold, but if you're too cold, then I think then, yeah, I think it's gonna be like, we just have to walk around until we get back to the city. If it gets too cold, we can just jog back. No, I know. The blood's going.
Alright, good morning everybody. This is day three at Amsterdam and or day two, I don't know. But today we're gonna be going to get some I don't know what was it. Today we're gonna go to the red light district. We're gonna keep walking around, see more, explore more. And then we're supposed to get some kind of bakery good. I just can't seem to remember exactly what it was. Sandra, what was the bakery good that we're supposed to get? Wrinkle 43. Wrinkle 43, but what is it again? What is it again? It's supposed to have one of the best pies in Oh, apple right. Pie. We're gonna get apple pie. I totally forgot <laughs> what it was. So we're gonna go to another one. So we're gonna go to a different one to see if it's open. Because in general, I think apple pies are supposed to be good here. Yes, Ooh, apple I pies agree. are supposed to be good. Correct but me if I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. Cold adventures. Cold adventures in Amsterdam. Continue. Like what? <laughs> what? We're living like Kevin McAllister. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're living like Kevin McAllister, not worrying about the bill until we get it. My mom will pay for it. <laughs> oh, we had a $1,000 credit. No, I oh, yeah, we did have a $1,000 credit. Which already spent in <laughs> Italy. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that's all good. I just uh, woke up with a little bit of a surprise this morning on my bank account. I was like, oh, <laughs> I feel like Kevin in New York. <laughs> or fun facts about Amsterdam number one in the 13th century in the 13th century Amsterdam was a small fishing village number two right the city was built on poles lots of poles the Torrens Luke bridge from 1648 is the oldest and widest bridge of Amsterdam the red light district is well known for its red lights however there are also blue lights when the lights are blue, you know that there are that there is a transgender woman in the room. The biggest football club in Amsterdam is Ajax. Has one of the most successful youth education programs in football in the world. The motto under the sign of Amsterdam, three crosses, says heroic, determined, and merciful. The three signs of Amsterdam stands for St. Andrew. He was a fisherman who was tortured on a cross in the shape of an X in the first century. The symbol of Amsterdam dates back to 1505 when Amsterdam was still a fishing boat town or was still a fishing town. Amsterdam counts around 821 inhabitants and more than 170 nationalities. 216 trams 2,500 boathouses, 75 museums, seven, 207 paintings of Van Gogh, 14 five-star hotels, 15 cinemas, and 16 clubs. Oh, oh I think this is a church knocker they changed or something. I don't know the church any friend. No, thank you. Thank you. So they say, today's day the old Kirk is more than just a place of religion. Oh my goodness. Can you smell it? Mm. Oh, it crumbles. Is it good? It's interesting, I didn't expect, I feel like there's like cherries or some other fruit mixed but in with good? it. Not my favorite. Uh -huh. Unfortunately. And it's cold. 
Oh. I think if it was fresh warm, maybe I'd enjoy it more, but it's a little too sweet for me. <laughs> it doesn't taste like apple pie. I guess it's a miss for that one. So for my viewers, this is Rembrandt's house. Okay, so Rembrandt was a famous painter that existed in the... don't know when, but he's famous. Goodbye. Venice of the North. Es la razón que le dicen Venecia del Norte. So, good morning. Afternoon, Was it good? No? good afternoon? Good afternoon. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, so today we're going to be flying to Madrid. Then tomorrow we're going to be staying at. Sevilla, right? And then, and then we're gonna be um, taking some day trips to other cities in Ma in Spain, and then we're gonna come back here to Netherlands. So right now we're at the Netherlands airport. I can't say it. The Schiphol. Muy buenas noches, aquí estamos en España. A mi izquierda está Elizabeth Chong. Hola. Y en mi frente está Sandra Méndez. Hola. A mi izquierda Osvaldo aquí Rodríguez. De Madrid reportándonos en esta noche tan hermosa. Estamos como a 50 grados Fahrenheit. Vamos en rumba por unos churros. The pink unicorn one. The meat. Huh? The ham. I don't know. The, the pink one. The pink one? Okay. Hey, que donde fue el atraco de Manija este? No sé, pero aquí este es el palacio de Real. El, donde estaban los reyes de España y la reina de España. So this is the palace, the royal palace. This is where the king and queen used to reside back in the day before they gave up their power. We are in La Cabaña de Argentina in Madrid, Spain. We have just arrived and we are super hungry. So we have come to this place. Enseñame maestro, es un bolillo, como pueden ver, y luego sangría, man. Es que no queríamos pedir porque pues como se llama Argentina, pero si sí estamos en España, eh. Here you go guys, bread. Es lo que nos recomendaron, ¿so? ah. ahí vamos. 
So we we asked the hotel concierge if he recommended any place to eat meat, uh, and he recommended this place. So we're gonna give it a try, even though it's not part of Madrid, it's Argentina. But you know, we don't really have. Have you been wanted to in Chicago? Um, also, have you? Because. Yeah. A comer se ha dicho. We're going to have to drink a meal next day. Acabamos de ir a la cabaña argentina. Nos acabamos de chingar un. Una vaca entera. <risa> Entre los cuatro. Y sí. A Nacho nomás le pusieron la vaca en la parrilla y la voltearon y se la entregaron así. Casi cruda. Como le gusta lo crudo. <risa> I'm sorry, first we want to take a Selfie. video of it. Should I hold, hold it? I can hold it. We just got... Yeah, so we came to the chocolate place called La Comida de San Ginés. So the hiding seat. Look at it, person. ¿Qué tal? Salivating already. Wow. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Here, you guys want to grab the big one? Sure. And we just switch? Sure. Yep. And grab. I'm going to make it. I was just going to say that. I think it comes with five, no? Six. Six? Three. Yeah, I think that's it. So Hermione is doing her um her count of churros. <laughs> Can you count them for me? I don't know. I'm just gonna <laughs> okay. So you want Go ahead. What are you gonna spill the chocolate? You're about oh, to do the okay. Chocolate. I'm not gonna rip it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Which one do you guys like best? The, the thin ones or the thick ones? We don't try it yet. Not come Oh my goodness. They don't push it. Oh, I'm fine. Probably because the chocolate yeah. is already sweet. Another detail. These are crisp. They're crispy? Mm hmm. I like it better. Okay. I prefer crisp. Let me try. Let me break this off for you. Dip it. Dip it, dip it, dip it. 
little bit hot, but. You like it better? Yeah, I like the big one. <laughs> the big one better. Estamos ahorita haciendo un paranormal video. Investigación, Investigación paranormal. We're trying to see if we can see spirits. Estamos en un bosque. Esa es la salida nomás. Ya para allá derecho. Sí. Hey, niña. Si estás aquí, manifiéstate. Ahorita vamos rumbo a la estatua de Satanás. De este paso nos queda el panteón. Hay más de 2000 muertos. Aquí dicen que se aparece una niña caminando en la noche. Hey, ¿Sí? more light in front. Estás aquí, manifiéstate. No te sí. vinimos a hacer daño. Nomás queremos saber si hay un, una prueba. De tacos. Sí. De taquitos. Si sí, hay tacos. ¿Qué fue eso? Ve, para allá. El jinete sin cabeza. Aquí, ya. Yeah. Uy, se escucha, se escucha. El jinete sin cabeza. The whole headless horseman. Esta es la estatua de Lucifer, el ángel caído. La única estatua de, en todo el planeta que está conmemorando al Cucuy. Yeah.